welcome everyone. On behalf of the Professor X Public Lectures team, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to everyone. Yeah. Welcome to the, ino the inaugural lecture of Paradigm 2015. The Professor X Public Lectures at Paradigm 2015 aims to look at science with a different perspective. We promise that by the end of it, your brain will burst with countless creative ideas and your fingers will twitch with the urge to create. We welcome each one of you to discover your very own Eureka moment. It is said, the coolest toys don't have to be bought, they can be built. In fact, sometimes the only way they'll ever exist is if you make them yourself. For any child who has ever played with a toy made by Mr. Alvin Gupta, this quote by Adam Savage holds absolutely true. Mr. Gupta, our speaker today, believes that children learn by touching, by smelling, by seeing things, and then breaking them, and putting them apart, and putting them back straight. In this way, they discover the world around them. Arvind Gupta is an Indian toy inventor and popularizer of science. He makes toys from inexpensive material like rubber slippers, so that children can have fun and learn at the same time. The principles of science. An IIT Kanpur alumni, Mr. Gupta, has published many books and conducted hundreds of workshops in thousands of schools. His website holds unrestricted instructions for everyone in multiple languages and documentaries which teach everyone how to make toys from daily household objects. His YouTube channel is India's second most largest and has more than 5,000 videos and 35 million views. These toys he makes not only entertain but also educate through experimentation and experience. His first book, Matstick Models and Other Science Experiments, was reprinted in 12 languages. He draws inspiration from a number of people, including Gautam Gupta and his mother. Mr. Gupta has received several awards for his work, including the Indira Gandhi Award for Science Popularization, conferred by INSA in 2008. One of his current projects is the Mutang Mutangan Science Exploratorium in Ayuka, in Pune where children are encouraged to experiment and learn on their own. Before we begin this talk, I would like everyone, I would like to request everyone to put their phones on silent. Please do not click pictures or record the lecture. If you wish to ask Mr. Gupta any questions, our volunteers are around, you can ask them for a chit and put the question on it with their name on it. And after that we'll ask Gupta, Mr. Gupta these questions. Thank you. I'd like to present Mr. Gupta. Thank you, sir. like this, they impinge your sensitivities. So the defining political slogan of the early 70s was, go to the people, love them, live with them, start with what they want, build on what they have. And this is what inspired a generation in the 70s. And uh, uh, in 1990, they were set up with the consortium of nine American universities, the whole curriculum tailor made for American universities. And uh, there was a central school and a campus school. They're very for the children of the faculty, but the children of the mess servants, the children of the Malis, of the Chauki Dars, they couldn't get admission into the schools. So some people had started something called the opportunity school. Uh, type 2 quarter. Uh, so for five years I taught in that school. I used to bunk once a week and go and teach in that school. And it's very nice that uh, I didn't miss much. Uh, I think 
I enjoyed it very much. But that gave me first insights into how to do that. It was my first experience. I'm going to 15 days back to IIT Kharagpur for my 40th reunion. I've never met, met these blokes in the last 40 years who passed out. Many of them, 200 of them in the US, uh, CEOs, presidents of companies 10 years back. So I'm going to embrace them before I kick the bucket. <laughs> I'm going to spend a whole day at the option of this school, which is 300 students now. Uh, well, in 1972, I heard a person, his name was Anil Sargopal, he did a PhD from Caltech, uh, was a molecular biologist, worked in the Cartesian Fundamental Research with Professor Abhi Ubaid uh, who is one of the fellows of the Royal Society, uh, set up the foundation of microbiology research. And he left his job because many scientists were looking for a meaningful role for themselves. Uh, they had seen the wars, many of them had sworn, we are not going to work into war research. We are not going to make bombs, we are not going to make missiles. And they said, if you can't do, if you can't do good to humanity, at least you must not harm humanity. That's the basic question. That's what the Buddha asked 5,000 years back. First decide, you want to work for life or you want to work for death? That's the basic question. The rest are all ramifications, but first you must decide whether you want to work for life or for death. And so I heard him and he had started a science teaching program in village India. It was in Madhya Pradesh, it was not his home state. The idea was to revitalize the learning of science in village schools. A program in the 70s. They started with 16 schools, spread to more than a thousand schools in Madhya Pradesh. The longest sustained science activities program in this country where over 100,000 children, village children, government school children learn science the fun way. Uh, after, after my BTEC, I joined Tata Motors in Pune. Uh, two years down the line, I realized it's not what to make trucks. I didn't know what to else to do, but I said, no more trucks. <laughs> so I took a year off and I went to this organization, the Ushangabad Science Program. And, uh, well, there was a small village called this Palia Peparia. There was a weekly hut, and I said, I'm going to be here for a year. So I just went to this village bazaar and bought one sample of everything available. I said, the challenge lies in trying to do stuff which is available over here. Pune is very far away, Kanpur is very far away. I'm stranded over here for a year. So let's see. I'm fascinated by I'm a tinkerer at heart. I love making things, breaking things. And, uh, had a very nice mother who had never been to school. That's the best thing about my mother. She had never been to school. So she had no great expectations of me. I'd be playing for hours in a corner, and she would say, let this chap be. He's happy. I think the more educated the parents are, the more manipulative they become of their children. This is what I've seen all my life. But I had a great mother, so I draw a lot of inspiration from my mother. When I left my job, everyone was cribbing, you know, it's such a nice, high-paying job by the help. And she said, Chalu, I think uh, that one sentence of her has sustained me for 35 years. In this village, I was getting my bicycle inflated. You probably recognize this. This is where you put a small bit of this into a, this is called the cycle vacuum, where you pump it air. I said, how much is this? I just bought some of it. It was 10 by self fit at that time. And uh, as I said, that I'm a tinkerer. And I just, one day, Two, three days later, one mastic just went. You can put two mastics, they meet head on inside this, and you start by teaching. It's like this. We're joined, you start by teaching. And this to children, this is a acute angle. This is a right angle, a reflex angle, straight angle, and so on. So it's like a universal coupling. You can transmit right between the angle. If you have three of this, you make a triangle, you make a square, you make a pentagon, you make a hexagon, you make all these two dimensional polygons, which is very interesting. If you look at the hexagon, for instance, these are all flexible joints, they transfer moments, and you just pull this out, it becomes a rectangle, you give it a push, it becomes a parallelogram, with this slide in which is constituted this out of If you look at the pentagon, well, same story, look at the square. It looks very square and print, all right angles, you turn and push, it becomes a rocks. Murphy Bantata, Patan Bantata, Lachila. But then you give a triangle, a triangle, no matter what she does, you can't do a thing to a triangle. That triangle remains a triangle. And this is the bedrock of all civil and mechanical engineering. If you wish to make, you can see the right wall over there. And if you wish to make anything stable, anything strong, you've got to divide them into triangles. You can't make a bridge with square members uh, because if the train would come, it would start doing the dance stuff. It would be a very, very big, big bridge. It would just collapse. So if you just pass through any bridge made of steel girders, 
and the angularis it all be divided by all these huge microwave tiles if you pass by sitting carefully they all divide the triangles because the triangles here the child could hold the concept this I did I was about 24 years old a very young engineer on a leave and well this made me very heavy I said this is so much better than designing trucks this would have been a lot <laughs> I think he's kept me high since then if you just poke a hole like this, you just with a thorn or a needle and you poke a third nice. So this is the joint of three. If I had the triangle and I make holes in the three corners, three vertices, I can just embed this tripod inside this and I make a very nice pretty structure. This is a dead brand. And you see that the triangle is the only rigid polygon, it has a 3D shape composed entirely of triangles, just logical to assume this must be a very fundamental kind of structure. This is nature's own brick. Essentially all bonding is dead brand. A cubicle bond, these are two interlock dead brands. Screw point kits. If you have four marbles inside this, four marbles, uh, put a it's an orange bead in the center, and you could simulate the molecular structure of the CH4, four atoms with hydrogen, with four corners of the dead right and you can see the carbon. And if you even you can make a joint of four, you can make a joint of six, just a thorn for a meal. You can have a thing. March is not good to you can't light the whole pile. We're not talking about fancy stuff. If there is a mechanical contraction which is made in roads in all our villages, it's the bicycle. So the cycle valve tube is readily available all over the place. Then you can make a joint of six. And then once you make these basic modules, you can make the, you see this is the joint of four at the top of the pyramid. You can put the pyramid on top. You can make a house. You can, you can take the, uh, the prism, put this on top. You can make a kind of temple kind of structure. So if you look at the world's most expensive mechano, cut all the frills and fancies, what is a mechano anyway? There are certain elements, there are certain couplings, you can make a joint of two, four. I can't make it, but children can make it. And because these joints take their own help, own, own angles, so you can do amazing things. You can make the IPOs, this is from the five platonic solids, and you can just make it like this. You can make an igloo, you can put them like this. This is how science is actually learned. This is not a low-cost way of learning science. This is the best way to learn science anywhere in the world. And if you can use local materials, you can relate science to real life. This is not, you know, people have this very stereotypical notion that unless you were white, you can't do science. <laughs> very stereotypical. If they are girls, girls can't do science. Many people have this stupid notion. And unless you're holding burets and pipettes and this fancy glassware and plasticware, you're not doing science. Just the opposite is Kids are doing science, all, all child, all children are born scientists. They are doing science, if you see children, little ones, nursery, <coughs> junior ones, in their free moments when the teacher is not watching them, the mother is not looking at a hawk side with, with the child. They are always pottering, hammering, coca, peeping, it's all four. This is, this defines, this is the definition of childhood. Uh, this defines. So they create scientists, but as soon as they start going to school, they start they promptly start mumbling up definition and spreading them out with exams. And onks goes the science. So children, the school just eats up the science of the spirit of the children. They just learn how to mumble, which is very, very sad. But there are many things which we, this got me very excited. And I've been very privileged to go to many, many schools, 3,000 schools in my country. Everywhere you see there is a bunch of CDs toys, they are because they are very, very simple. They are affordable toys. Even the poorest, we live in a democracy where it's the birthright of every child to learn science the right way, the correct way, not, not the way. And this is a very simple a liquid model. This is the most expensive piece of battery inside this. You can see there are two safety pins. There is a whole bicycle tube, which is a broad rubber band. It's very difficult to buy broad rubber bands, but in it, India has given a word called as Yubal to the whole world. <laughs> if you don't have a particular component, well, think about it and you'll find a substitute for it. So, the 1.5 volts across this, if I were to attach a small force pump, it's going to not burn very brightly. This is one meter of insulated copper wire. I make a coil out of it and I just put this inside this. You can see this is the simplest motor on that. If you have the battery, it costs 5 rupees to make it. So it's not a rich man's game. Every child can make it. Modern life would come to a standstill if you the, the, the uh, AC would not run, the fans would not run. Uh, the motor is required, the mixing, the washing machine, and the pump, they would not operate if the motor was not there. But no child ever makes the motor. 
And this is in the realm of six, seven, eight classes. We are not talking about higher science. Because the children need to be imbued with the level of science at a rather early age. And uh, they must be able to relate science to real life. I like motors the children and teachers over the years. It's about the nicest approach. It's no matter how much you go wrong, you can always rectify it and make it possible. And one must not, if you have motor it to It must never work the first time. You've got to struggle to make it work. And when it works, you see a gleam in the child's eye. You see a smile on their faces. And this is it. And this is this is one of them. Even this we made maybe about 25 years back, the motor. This is a slightly new one. This is a medical technology throws away a lot of junk. We live in a society which is producing junk. Junk in mountains and mountains of junk. There's a very nice film called it's The Story of Stuff. If you've not seen it, you must see it. We, we dubbed it into Marathi. We just released it into Marathi. Uh, the Story of Bottle Water, The Story of Cosmetics, The Story of Broke, all four into Marathi. It's in the Vasudhara Film Festival right now. It's an amazing film. Medical technology, despite the high tech, but very insensitive to the kind of trash. This is the old thing. We've nothing to do with the needle. And this, these are two strong neodymium magnets. These are made of rare earths. So there is an element by the name of NB. And it's so strong you can't separate them. They all come from China. China has the largest reserves of rare earths in the world. And China is sitting put up there. But you can buy them very easily. They, won't, they are loose in this barrel and they can move on. On the top is 1,000 tons of insulated copper wire used for motor rewinding. There will be two ends that start in the end. You spray, remove the, the insulation, and just attach it in. And this is a small rubber to prevent the magnet from falling off. And if I just, now I can shake the magnet inside the barrel, and what do you see? We are generating electricity. Imagine a, a girl in the badlands of UP or Bihar, where there are 18 hours of power cuts. Uh, if, a, if a child, if a girl child makes it, you know, the parrot, this is a paradigm shift. I'm more for a consumer, I'm a producer. You know, Faraday's laws of motion, which they, you know, mugged up and without any feel for it, will just fall into place. Because you can make it work. And you can see there's a moving magnetic field inside it, oil it produces an EMF. And this is the, this is the, the easily done. This is not for the rich and rich. This is the birthright of every child in this country. Some of the most popular generators, motors, on a website, there is a multi-generator, where you four light four LEDs. <laughs> Trust me, this film is in Marathi. It's called as a multi-generator. One film is 35 lakh viewers in Marathi. Because if you're on YouTube and you're smart, I think the language is not a barrier, because people are very clever, and the visuals tell them all. So even if they don't understand the language, it's not a barrier. So be very good. Very, very doable. Well, this has been around for a hundred years. And this is this is wet scientists. And uh, there's a pencil with a rubber on one end. And if you aspire to be teachers at any stage, if you want to go to paradise, teach this to all your children. <laughs> because then you <laughs> now this is you just make a few notches, V notches, ala the and you beep in them, similar with notches. Take a card sheet, make a fan, rectangular fan, a hole in the middle, a big hole, and you just push a pin inside. Uh, the pin head is very tiny, and this fan could fly away, so there's a small stop. This is loose fit over here. In my hand, I hold a whole ball pin refill. If I want this, something amazing happens. This, every child must learn because uh, once the teacher is dictating the notes, children should be assiduously writing, giving the good books. Right? But when, when the teacher turns a bad every child from doing this because this is God, this is what God sent them for. <laughs> right? Why does it happen? <laughs> Why is it not in the NCRT books? It's been there for 100 years. Six major researchers. Feynman actually wrote a paper in this in China, quizzed by this, the greatest research in the world is ever not. <laughs> well, the NCRT book perhaps have no answers to it. <laughs> you can't pick a the correct answer. <laughs> That's why. But 
people often throw us that this is not part of their curriculum. Right? Why are you <laughs> you know for the burning that this is not part of the curriculum? Right? We don't have to cover cover karna nahi hai, uncover karna hai, bhool jate So we are covering all the time and reaching nowhere. This is, this is, this is a very nice, this is part of the curriculum. I think everyone would say this is very much part of the curriculum. This is the, it is this, we have these seven colors. And well, this is a very nice way of making the board spin round and round and all the seven colors, they coalesce and you see a kind of grayish white. So that's a, भई आपने ये करा ये तो करने की जरूरत नहीं न्यूटन कर गए तो तो सच ही होगा
And then I just have a, a very nice, this is the bellows, which is old bicycle tube. And if you're able to inflate the pump, you inflate the balloon with the pump, it's a very high point. I used to set a bike pump, that's what this pump is, it costs very little money. But if kids make a pump like this, they never forget how a pump works. I'll show you one or two more. And this is a just an ordinary straw. Earlier, take a broomstick, a thick one, and pop in the middle, leave about two short bits, and make a half cut to the right, another one to the left. Now these are good arms with the swivel. Throw them, make a triangle. Then take some sticky tape and tie it like a bed all around it. And this is what you can do. Cost very little money, 25 paisa. The government will just stop making 25 paisa coins. So it's actually priceless. <laughs> it's truly priceless. And this is very nice. See, if you're feeling sleepy after a good lunch, <laughs> I think these guys need it <laughs> much more than the life. It's very nice, you know, it's very refreshing. Alright. <laughs> 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 this is a huge. If you spin something, the water would climb up the stars and come up to you. know, the Iranians have had had the centrifuge like this, the Americans had it. Right? Like it's a great centrifuge for enriching anything. Very simple. Imagine class one and two children in water and little imported plants, the first steps into science and which bring the joys. And people should be hooked on to science. I think science is such a beautiful subject, the maths is such a beautiful subject, the horrendous way they are in schools, they give children a taste for these beautiful subjects. And our task is to hook them. <laughs> Nothing short of hooking. <laughs> I wish that uh, more children became artists and poets and writers, because they don't make words. These scientists will make love bombs and atom bombs and hydrogen bombs. So science is not a holy cow, right? <laughs> and if you don't make uh, you know, the DRDO team was not very good at making bombs, so he's been shut down. <laughs> you <government is crazy. laughs> Something very, very nice. There's a book, very beautiful book, called as The Joy of Making Indian Toys. It's, a, it's an absolutely iconic book written by Sudarshan Khanna, who taught at the National School of Design for 35 years. He was teaching design materials, properties of materials, composite materials, and it occurred to him 35 years back that traditional Indian toys use materials very judiciously and it's a recycling. So there is a there is a uh, there's a story from the life of the great Buddha five thousand years back which is many lessons to what the environment is. One day the Buddha was going to a Bihar and there was a monk and he said, Sir, I want a new America. America like a Buddhist one. What happened to your old America? Master it had got worn off so I'm using it like a bed sheet. But you made a bed sheet earlier on your bed, what happened to that? I'm very warm and torn, so I cut it up and sewed a pillow cover. But you must have had a pillow cover earlier. What happened to that pillow cover? You know, I had rubbed my head on the pillow cover that millions of times there was a hole in the pillow cover. So now I use it like a footmat. Not to be satisfied because Buddha broke deep into the pillow. It was not a superficial engagement. And he said that, uh, Master, that uh, footmat. With my with the with the rubbing of my feet, all the fibers came out, so I collected all the fibers, made a wick and burnt it in the lamp. So then the Buddha smiled. <laughs> that this chap is a Supatra and he deserves anger. So there is this is five thousand years back. This comes from the Pipatika, the Buddhist canons, and which says that uh, it has so many lessons from modern day environments that in India was in India was a very austere society, doing with very little. And this is one of the toys which Sudarshan shows. This is this book. That, this is a broomstick, probably came from Kerala. Uh, this is the middle of the coconut front, a long one and a short one, and you tie it very tightly uh, with a string. This is like a Simo for arm, slightly bent at an angle. Uh, the children must have picked up a baby coconut and pushed this in for weight. But it's very difficult to find a baby coconut in Pune. So this is the old slipper. <laughs> you can make a small hole, so there is a weight over here. And well, this is something like this, like this with Russian channel. Centrifugal force, centrifugal force are very abstract forces. People who teach them don't understand because they're very abstract forces. You can only get a feel by by messing around with stuff like that. Otherwise, you can write equations without any feel for them. Uh, a couple of years back, uh, four, three, four years back, 
fourth class child got an award for this. Very similar structure to this, it's slightly different. What did this child make? Satellite. The satellite, very nice. <laughs> These are the two solar panels and <laughs> you just can, can like this. Very, very creative. <laughs> it's really taken up <laughs> like <laughs> William. <laughs> Something very nice, and this is uh, this is an aluminium hanger. You just pull it out, and I've got a five rupee coin. Five rupee coin has got a the government seal. It's a government of India sitting right over there, perch, <laughs> balanced, <laughs> right, <laughs> not falling to one side. <laughs> There's a famous scientist, Gabriel Haldane, who died in India. He must have heard about Gabriel Haldane, fellow of the Royal Society who was also a left-leaning uh, Marxist thinker, who made India his home. And he, one of his quotes is that in a democracy, as a democrat, you must be a nuisance to your government. That's the only way that governments are kept in check. That as a good democrat, you must be a nuisance to your government. That's the only way. It's just first over here. Now I'm going to just put a small spread first. First a small spread, and then a big spread. Now the government will be just spinning on my finger. <laughs> That's what all Democrats should be doing. Right? Okay. <laughs> right now my finger is fuzzy. And very slowly I can make my finger right now. Now this is how the earth spins around the sun. This is how the moon spins around the earth. Am I chanting the Gaitri Mantra? <laughs> Am I <laughs> praying to the Lord above? Yes or no? No. These are forces of nature which are immaterial irrespective of the poison in my head, these are forces of nature which are independent of my beliefs, of my thought systems. This is how nature works. This is how the earth's hope oh, and the earth's spin. One go is really good. But there's something very, very wonderful in my fact, and this is designed by a mathematician many years back. This is something called, designed by Arthur Stone at Harvard in 1928. This has been documented by Martin Gardner. In one of his numerous books, Martin Gardner called it the mass fuzzing of scientific method for 25 years, which come in eight volumes. There's a whole chapter devoted to This is, you can see, it's a hexagon. It's a flexible hexagon. So you chop the middle, it's a flexagon. And there are four pictures. What, right now, what do you see? The butterflies, the frogs, the snakes, the eagles. Butterflies, frogs, snakes, eagles, butterflies, frogs, snakes. Now, four pictures which come in a sequence, and you can read the story in this. That the insects are eaten by the frogs, frogs are eaten by the snakes, snakes are eaten by the eagles. For children, amazing that you can do this with data. Uh, science is all about cycles, cycles, change, sequences, stories, and this is the, the, the water cycle. The sun is the source of all the heat. It's the sun's heat which leads to evaporation water, and we get clouds. It clouds bring precipitation, rainfall. Once it rains, all the reservoirs are depleted. The Nadi Nale Sakhtar Vatar Hojati, and the sun is back again, the evaporating water, making clouds, bringing rain, and this is what the rain cycle is all about. And if you had just a mere fourth piece of paper like this, it was printed on one side, the printed side would get camouflaged. Just this, a scale and a pencil, in three minutes of this place. And that's in 1928. The only use this is being put to is by the ad industry. The first time I saw this about 25 years back, there was an Australian automaker, all the air conditioning limousines and cars, and you just flick them, and, and well, they have had to. <laughs> they have seized your mind. So the advertising world is very good at stuff like this. The world of education is very bad. That's why it's been there for 80 years. You might be in a middle school school. You might be in a middle school. Just a piece of paper, a four size, a scale and a pencil in three minutes. Okay, there's a film on our website, petroys.com, called The Mexican. Two years back, the Polish acting of sciences dubbed this film into Polish. Trust me, in one month, half a million viewers of this film. And then you realize why these small countries like Poland, like Hungary, some of the greatest mathematicians come from, why do they come from Hungary? Nowhere else. Such enormous appetite for maths. And these countries have half a million. We sent an article in Polish, which we were able to read only by putting in Google Translator, which said that it's been a runaway system. This is not for the rich rich. Take a small one, take a small one. You know, 
I can make this. Suppose say one day card, happy birthday, grandma, and draw some flowers. And even if your grandma should be putting her thumbs all the time. <laughs> That's the nice thing about it. You can make a New Year card, you can make a Diwali card. But this is something which costs no money at all. <coughs> there are not too many models which go there. This is a 14 page book. Two squares of this size, a bit of blue in this. That's a dog look at all. It's a 14 page unending book. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's the last page. And you start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. And imagine children, class 4, class 5. Every child has a favorite story, which the life was here 50 times without getting bored. So take that story, divide this into 14 steps, and you just straight. And you have dynamic, rotating, moving picture book, which costs no money at all. So no matter how much money you're keeping, you can't buy this living mall, any of these uh, fancy stores, you can't buy this. You need to buy. After Dabba Mango, I can This is modernization. All right? Well, we use a lot of, uh, a lot of Tetra Packs for I did a book about 20 years back on Julie Boys, published by the AP Civil Languages, where it said that don't use Tetra Packs. Tetra Packs are awful from the point of view of the environment. If you've seen the uh, underbelly of a Tetra Pack, it would look like this. This is actually a plastic, food bed plastic coating. The silver part is aluminum foil. There are three layers of plastic, one layer of aluminum foil, one layer of card sheet. Five layers fused together. You may have fun drinking fruity for five minutes and chuck it, but it's going to be lying in the landfill for the next five minutes. Nature is totally helpless and it's a stupid man made mechanic. Because aluminum is the most energy intensive metal known to humankind. Plastic is all oil. And aluminum is too much. It does not even rust. It's going to be lying in the land for many, many years. And this is the, this is the network from a fruity packet. This is something called the inside outside cube. You can just see this. I just fold this. You see a silver cube all over the place. And well, two steps. And the silver is all gone inside, and you've got a green cube on it. So something amazing material for a toy like that, because you need to you need to flex them hundreds of times, and because of three layers of plastic and aluminium, it has the capacity to be extremely flexible and very, very amazing. We have some 60 toys just using. Oh, this is the this is a very nice plastic. This is a fruit juice specs. The fruits available. Why do people consume this junk full of poisons? I've never been able to understand this. <laughs> so weird. Oh, this is uh, my, my colleague was invited to Italy and she found many village women selling this. It's a, it's a very nice price. You put some money, put some coins, it's valuable. The waterproof thing you put in the pot. And this is how you make it. It's a small, small version of this, a small tetra pack. So you cut one side flat completely, tuck these both in, they give dead to it. Fold this like this. No staple both these. First is almost emerging. Put some Velcro. Very nice. Very beautiful. Some fifty toys just using the tetra pack. It's a very, very, very powerful material. This is this is the fruity packet. I think the fruity packet must have changed. I'm quite aged now. But how much does the fruity packet contain? If you can read this, this is two hundred. And you can actually measure the, the, the length, the width, and the height, and multiply. It's very close to 200 mm. It's a very nice measure of 200 mm. And you just cut this into half, exactly half. How much water would this contain? This is 100. And that's a very nice thing. You just completely with water to the top. How much water am I down? Look. It's a dwarf thing you own pocket. You keep this all the time. We have a one like that, and this is, you just cut this. This is the tetra pack once again. It's a tetra pack I just cut the corner over here, and this makes it very, very beautiful. I can imagine it's a very nice, fun. Find a fund which can collapse and keep it in your pocket. Very practical way of doing it. 
it affects the great front. There is something which uh, one of some Lawrence was a little. Uh, these are root magnets, uh, which uh, all come from China. Uh, there are only various levels of middlemen. You might find this, you may not find it in Mumbai. If you find it, it might be 5 rupees or 10 rupees per magnet, but they're very cheap. Uh, they're 1 rupee 50 paisa each. <laughs> they're very, very cheap. You can see the four magnets over here. The front magnets attract. If they attract, they must be opposite. North south, north south. The rear ones repel, so they're similar, either both north or both south. Because they're repelling, they're lifting the rear of the pencil up, and the front ones are attracting it. So if I just put my finger over here, you can see this pencil is just hanging in the air. I can just point. And there's a lot of friction between my finger and the pencil point and the pen point. So this is old old CD. I just put the CD it's like a piece of glass which you can cut with scissors. It spins, it levitates, it writes. If you were to go to Beijing in China, uh, the international airport is 70 kilometers away from the city. Uh, they have a magnet friend. In 10 minutes, you negotiate 70 kilometers. I think some of our politicians, local eminence, must have, they must all take a visit to Beijing. They'd be very happy to do that. <laughs> but this is not in the realm of <laughs> fiction. This is reality in many parts of the world. So for mass transportation, and it's a girl in Ayuka. Uh, uh, one of the brightest physicists in Ayuka is Professor Deepak Naman. Uh, he won the first uh, to post in Forces Foundation Institute to the Basic Sciences. He won the first award 50 lakh rupees for physics for daughter. And she went to no fancy school. She went to the Kendri Vidyalaya across the road to Ganeshkin. But it was Hamsa. You can Google Hamsa for Naman. She was in high school, which is fascinating. High school student, she wrote a 12 page mathematical paper. Second Intel International Award she was given to Kapuna to Seattle. The American for 2005 the American Association for Physics Teachers was so that by what this 10th class birthday, they gave another 2000 dollars. Today, if you Google a minor planet is named after Hamza. The gone of the days of the colonialists, where they said that the white man was superior to the brown man or the black man. So we could we could we could see everyone in the eye and we could set standards for India is poised, we are poised in a great situation, a very, very clever workforce. The world is realizing the cleverness of the Chinese workforce, the Indian workforce is more better. We just need to give our children a great, good education. And this is, this is, this is. I'll tell you one more story, which is a real story. We have worked for 11 years in the U.S. Children's Science Center. Uh, there's a school, the Pune University is 411 acres, it was a British government summer residence. There's only one school inside the campus, policy with their each other. It's like a municipal school, Karpesh and Chansan style, it's like a municipal school. 2,500 children, none of the Ayuka faculty send their children to this place, so it goes from bad to worse to worse. That's his impression. But we ran a club there for eight years. This is the story of Durga Jetty. He lives in a Jhopra party in a slum. Father is a drunkard. Durga washes dishes in four houses before she actually comes to school. Helps some mother in the high school in four years back as part of the school science exhibition. She made this. This is a whole, this water in the bottle. We just cut the base of the tube. The, the lid has got off center and all. There are two safety pins taped over here and just a, a, a needle going. See, the screw in the lid. Now I'm going to move this bottle up and down in water. What would happen? As this goes in, air will be expelled. Water will enter and this turbine. This was picked up by the Maharashtra Times, the, time, the Kulin, Marathi Kulin Times, which is Pune. She stood sitting in a school in high school, 94% of us. So they put a picture in the papers that helped this girl. She's a very percent. 7 lakh rupees for him, 517 checks to receive in Duga's name, 20 rupees to 20,000 rupees. They're good, generous people in society. They would like to help a, help a bright child and in a very gripping function, Professor Mashenka, Ravnath Mashenka School. She said, came from a very humble background, gave a check of seven lakh rupees to do that. She's pursuing her engineering in the best college in Pune, because this is pretty famous the world over as Buddha. This is the potential of every poor They just need to help. Well, we make a this is something uh, not designed by us, but we've authorized it more than anyone else. It's a slave.
data, I just said you know, the sample for one, and you saw the laboratory, which is fantastic. You know, there is no laboratory for the blindness, uh, which is so dynamic. This was designed by Prabhya and the new Prabhya was born in Pune and Kotru, after marriage, she went to Ahmedabad, married to Dilip, who works for the Indian Space Research Organization. Eighteen years back, their son Nikun was born and was found visually challenged. This trouble for many years with Nikun, and this is the real future of that. It's called as a touching slave, because you know, the people were visually challenged, even with their fingers in weak place. So Velcro over here, Velcro, you know, there are two strips with nylon, but with hooks and loops, loops to discard the things. This is just what so this is my drawing slave. And this is my drawing pen, which is essentially a, a bottle, a piece of rubber, and you push this pen inside. The rubber is to join the bottle to the pen. There's a bicycle spoke pen to essentially like a crank. So push it in a laser, gouge out some of the rubber so that you can grab some wool. So this is essentially like a fishing line. If I crank the handle, you can see that the wool is getting wrapped on this. And wool is a lot of fibers. And now any blind child can just Website. This is called as a, there is a film of this. Uh, three years back, we got, a, we got a letter from a teacher who works in a special school in Thailand, in Bangkok, in the Cha Cha. He made these slates for all the blind children in the school. And this got such a thumping response in, in the whole of Thailand, he got a top response that made these slates for all the blind schools. This is such an amazing stuff. The only thing that you need to buy is the Velcro rest is our free. Well, you made them. <coughs> a lot of, well, this is uh, many, about 25 years back, there was a, there was a this is for the National Association for the Blind. Because uh, this is, these are rubber slippers, which cost no money. The strap breaks. Nowadays, uh, you, know, you can't buy new straps, because the companies don't make them anymore, new straps. <laughs> to increase their sales, if the strap breaks, you throw away these things. <laughs> so you scrub it clean. Three minutes by the watch with a, with a, with a cobbler's knife, you just cut this. The nice thing about this is that the, these, <coughs> the slippers are white on one side, blue on the other. So if you just, just interchange them, you can see that the blue stands on a black back. And the white stands on a blue back. You don't need to paint them up. And the nice thing is that the lines of these, and there's no sharp edges anywhere. But it makes it tricky for us. You see this. Please go. make them very, very easy, something that lasts to replace them, but this is enormous potential. So this is, this. you saw the air full size paper, but this is, really, this comes from a book for the BSO teacher, science teacher's handbook, voluntary services policy, simple to charity, uh, which has sent some 40,000 volunteers in the third world in the last 30 years. These are 17, 18, 20 year old Britishers, uh, you know, they you know, see a very, uh, this, the BSO just pays their fare to a country and they've got to live like ordinary people in that country. So they get a very small stipend, but many of them, three of them got together, they just very beautiful to try out and they got this in the Hindi and the Marathi, this book, BSO. Now, half a year for size, this is a for size, this is half a year for size paper. You make a scale model. You make the skull, you make the ribcage, you make the pelvis, everything to proportion, just with half this. This is the size. So there's very good stitch. This is a very nice exercise for your children. Imagine you know, class six to seven. And then you can launch into a much larger questions of society. That you might tell me, this is skeleton for man or a woman. So we have so much of poison in our heads <coughs> that we, we don't have answers to this. Is this a, is a skeleton of a gen? or a Christian, or a Jew, or a Muslim, or a Hindu. And the genome project won't you demonstrate that 99.99% of our genes are the same? Why don't you think in the name of religion, in the name of a kid? 
nationality, patriotism. I need a volunteer to help me. Now, I saw one experiment over there. Now, this is before you get these RA milk bags, they come as a tube. And then you cut them at once at both sides. You see one side, fill in milk and see. So you can buy the tube itself, which is cheaper. We just tie a knot on one end. Then we just hold this over here. Now, the question is what is the average human bank capacity? It's a very, very vital question. And you know, the, you know, the usual experiments is you have a bell jar, fill it with water, you burn it with water, and with the tube, you blow it. <laughs> this is a much better. I'm going to take a very deep breath and blow my lungs out. It's about three, three and a half meters, pi r squared h, very easy to find out the volume of the cylinder. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no glass, <laughs> very movable. Uh, this is one part. But, and the other part is even more interesting. We could be removed for eject all there. <clears throat> now, last time I was very discreet, no cheating. <laughs> it's a gathering of scientists. I put my mouth next to the mouth of the <laughs> tube and blew inside. No external air, otherwise I'd be cheating. So we now remove all there. The question now is I'm going to keep the mouth of the tube about 10 inches away from my mouth and blow now. Will I get more air or less? Well, you put it in the heating, you just try and do this. Okay. Now, this is, this is amazing experiment. It's so confident you. See, 99 percent people, and this is, I think you've probably seen it <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> See, what this is, what are these? But when he was a Swiss engineer who 300 years back propagated that high velocity, <coughs> so low pressure so from fine blowing from here, all the air from the side is like this. So to understand Bernoulli, this makes it very, very graphically. We may turn to the hang on, hang on. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Can you just hold this? Very tightly. Now this is, uh, uh, this is about three meters of sticky tape uh, on a smooth floor like this with the sticky side up. And every two centimeters you put a straw. And you put another layer of tape on top. So there are 80, 90 straws sandwiched between two layers of tape. And hold it tight. And hold it tight. You just, yeah. It's like, you just hold this with one hand, one hand like this. Can you see a reflected <laughs> If you hold it loose, you can see the viscosity of the medium is. So if you hold it tight, then it's like a bunch back and forth. And then you press And you can see that what a crest is, what a trough is. This could be two cases that could drop some crest and trough the wavelength. If you want to drop a stone in the middle of a pond, you'll see the ever widening circles. And the, 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 the biggest circle goes to the margin, uh, goes to the bank. Uh, over here, you can see. This straw, each straw is just vibrating about their own axis. So they're not going from there to there, but they're still able to pass the message. Motorists, less way, smaller way than Greater frequency. This is more the wavelength, less the frequency. And of course, it looks like a wavelength. So, something which can be done to fifteen rupees at the most school does it. <laughs> because it's so low cost, that's the one reason most school does it. Because it's 15 rupees. And today is the era, you know, you, this is the new era of uh, Gandhi Giri that you tell children that you collect 15 rupees, make this model and gift it to your science teacher. You know, this is... Uh, <laughs> very nice. No, Now this is a vermilion plastic, 
is the missing over here. And I just fill this form. Someone came to our center, he made a dive for us, made a few thousand for us. But it's sad, the kind of extent of Indian entrepreneurship. Indians are not to be entrepreneurs, great entrepreneurs. But you know, no one thinks that, that this is important. Very, very important. This is all. What is the point? This is something very interesting. This is what the children of this school, uh, the same school where, uh, where uh, this girl had. Uh, so just a, these are two ring magnets, there's a bicycle as well. You can just leave like this, just leave them. You can see this, the end is very pretty. Because they're off center. And this is what the, uh, these are six class children, uh, capable of very original research. And this is what they did. They just put a fan, this lead is to to reduce the friction, then if you were to just remove and release this. Six class children, they did one of the very beautiful things. Now this is an ordinary paper cup. You can cut it quite a bit. We just uh, cut into half, make a hole in the base, and uh, just some decoration, color tapes, and stick two magnets, that's it. Not sticks to the side. There is no this is a very, very nice toy done by the six class children. I just think this. The largest downloads from a website, by the way, are from China. <laughs> All these, these ideas converted into actual products and uh, sold to back to India someday. Long and rounded ears, uh, fold this to the front, fold this to the back. And this is Mr. Rabbit. Rabbit's mouth, rabbit's long ears, front legs. So fold the legs just below the body, grab the tail, and if you move the tail, now this is a 10 second point. All the key man, Barbies, skull man, all these very sexist, <laughs> violent toys will disappear. It will be unsustainable. But hundreds of years from now, I think it's good to be there. Because they're very, very dynamic. And there is, of course, documented history for a toy like that. I'll give a square piece like this. And in two minutes, if you don't know it, you all must learn how to make this. This is the Japanese screen. And this is documented history. It's in Japan who made this for 300 years. It's dovetailed into the religion on Christmas, on Holi, Diwali. You know, we eat sweets and celebrate Japanese who sit down and fold paper. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what is kept it alive for 300 years. Just a square, no glue. You bend your fingers and you make this most amazing. And what we did, and this is what we did, this is 20 years, 25 years back, this is the cover of one of my books, that you have to you cut the tail, and this is a reefer, a pin inside this, and it's a small helicopter. It's a fat tail bird. Don't throw your whole ball pin refills. You can make 10 of these birds. That's it. It's aerodynamic. <laughs> it's eco friendly. It doesn't burn a hole in your pocket. No matter what age you are, then you could enjoy it. Like. One over here, 
there would be 100, this is 110. Okay. 999, if all of you have to, nothing is here. The device says that in 8 night last year, was study about light. And it's a pain that of weeks is this part back. What happens is the conflict here. You know, we draw ray diagrams, which everyone copies. Very abstruse, very difficult to understand. And we propagate the fraud generation after generation. <laughs> One can't mirror does. They just need to focus. What happens? Convex. They just die. You know, you don't need anything very fancy, but just a piece of paper would help you demonstrate this more concretely. But in the end, I'm just going to. Uh, but we put lots of, lots of caps. We make the dozens of caps. Uh, this, is, this is, of course, uh, Anna Hazare was quoted from us. He's been making it for 25 years. Half a newspaper, and this is the national cap. Uh, and this is, of course, the Mumbai icon, Sachin Tendulkar, the city diet he gave us. But this is a step. This is a cricket year step. Very nice. With half a newspaper. That's about it. And when children are folding caps, it's like a geometry laboratory without using very big words. And uh, if one child wears a cap like this, there's a peer pressure. The whole group wants it. The whole class wants it. No one wants to be left behind. And they want to make it again and again. So it's a very, very nice thing. This is one story which is called Topi Shankar. Now, Topi Shankar was a captain of a sea Boeing ship. And you know, a sea Boeing ship sails very slowly. It takes several weeks, several months before it goes from one port to another, unlike an aircraft. And there were many passengers in the ship. Some of the people who are in the sea, they like it very much, but after a couple of days, all they see is the white blue ocean not a patch of land, not a tree, uh, not a bird. He becomes bored, seasick, that's the word for it. Now, Topi Shankar was a very, very clever captain. He saw that the passengers were getting bored, so he invited them on deck. Then he said that, sing and dance the whole day, enjoy yourself, I'll provide you with good food and drinks. Topi Shankar, the name Topi Shankar is clear, he had a suitcase full of different kinds of caps. And this is, he would wear a new cap every day. This is a huge umbrella cap. It, uh, Protects, him, protects the captain from the scorchings and protects him from the rain. And being a very clever man, at night when all the passengers would go to sleep, he would take the same cap and give it one more for it. And the second day, he'd be wearing a new cap. Now this is, this is the fireman. You've seen the fire brigade people, Adi Chabam. They wear a very designer cap like this because they work under very hazardous circumstances. They go into a burning house. And some rubble might injure the spinal cord. That's why they wear a very designed cap like this to protect the spinal cord. This is the fireman's cap. Second night, he would give it one more point. And the third day, he would wearing a shikari cap. It's like the adventurer's cap, the explorer's cap, the shikari cap. And third night, he would give it two more faults. And of course, this is the most iconic cap. We are in Mumbai Nagari, the Bollywood, which produces over a thousand films every day, dance, drama. They appreciated the world over. We may not like them. But the world likes our films very much. And if you've seen a, if you've seen a Mumbai cop, right? He always wears a cap like this, so it's called as a Pandu cap. <laughs> <laughs> this cap is being catapulted to international glory. Because this is the Pandu cap. So four caps, first is the huge umbrella cap, second is the fireman's cap, third is the shikari cap, and fourth is this Pandu cap, and he must not forget the Topi Shankar after all, he was the captain of a ship. And <laughs> everyone was enjoying the journey very much. We <laughs> enjoyed the journey very much, having the ball of a time, and all good, uh, good times must come to the end. It starts to rain cats and dogs, and the sea is on fire. What can the poor ship do when the sea is on fire? It's rocking and pitching along with the waves, and a huge wave comes and, and slaps the after. <laughs> then another huge wave comes and slaps the core of the ship. Tears it down. It has been sinking. And the triangular portion of the ship is called as a bridge. And the third huge wave comes and slaps the bridge and knocks it. 
of Jahaski Chitra Chitra, it's broken to smithereens. The ship is sunk in Captain Topi Shankar has lost his suitcase all, with all the caps. Topi Shankar looked at him, pushed 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 him.
Bangla. We have 800 videos in English, 100 <coughs> only in Bangla, and that I, I weep. It's, it's in Bengal we have the Renasa, Raja Ramon Roy, where did he come from? Rabindranath Tagore, where did they come from? But it's in the pits, West Bengal. We have not been able to find any important to dub up the videos. So this is really, if they were in Bangla, teachers in Bangla, their children in Bangla, they should dub them. But yet we have written in Spanish. There's this, someone in Telugu who just does 700 videos in Spanish. A friend in Pune, <coughs> he's born in Belga. Now there's a great fight between Maharashtra and Karnataka. And it was such a richness of this country. He said, he was born in Belga. Sure. Marathi and Kannada both in Marathi. See, it's equal in One man has done 700 videos in Marathi. <coughs> this is, so there is hope in all these people. There are hope in the time. Odia, Punjabi, Uchumandi, only agriculture, no culture. Rode, you are going to be a Raji Karodia. Punjabi, camp time. So these are the challenges. Yes. So how often do you go back to the school? Well, I told you, I've been to many Delhi schools. In Delhi. Do you follow up on No, no, we have to do feedback. I, we only go for the assembly. We have no curriculum, unlike other schools. We are four people who work in a room which is 400 square feet, half this. And in, in six years, we are the second largest YouTube channel out of India. It's taken a lot to come to Karai. And some other people, some people who are determined in very harsh circumstances, they can do great stuff. Whom do we compete with? No models in this country. The largest science center in the world is the Exploratory in San Francisco, set up by Frank Oppenheimer, brother of Robert Oppenheimer, who made the atom bomb. <coughs> budget 500 crores a year. Our budget is 15 lakh. We beat them hollow. <coughs> this is our task. Take new models of our to the traditional teaching and let's say you go to them and say no oh, come on like make some toys or do something so they have this fear in this head that no am I doing something right is this the right way of doing it? well I think not just children many adults should suffer from the same fear <laughs> I think all life is play all life is play is very serious business I think science is taking this way the science they learned is only incident <laughs> it's like I think play is the most serious people who play as children will not make bombs will not make war because they are happy individuals. They will not kill someone who is a different caste or a different religion. They will be better human beings. People who play will be happy people. And there is the, the, the greatest libertarian school in the world, is Summer Hill, set up by Neil. We got Summer Hill to English, Marathi, and Hindi. Some of the greatest books in this on education, you will find about it. So, the greatest books on education because the Punjab away for want of soil. There is no soil to nurture that seed. 
नॉर्थ आज के तो मेरी हंबल डेल्टा था इसको ये फ्री दिए ये तो फिर से कोई that teaching is one of the most noble professions that ever exists and that science as a discipline is important not because of fancy experiments or because of exquisite theories but because it teaches you one of the most essential skill in life the skill to question everything to find solutions to problems and so today on behalf of team professor x i would like to thank you for coming here and gracing this occasion as a student in the crossroads of life i where we have to make choices about our career i can vouch for the fact that uh, it isn't easy to to find something that you would want to do for the rest of your life and uh, you have done that you have believed in something and constantly and relentlessly worked hard in achieving uh, in in achieving that mission and i'm sure all my peers here would agree that you have inspired us to do the same uh, also your humility and the gleam in your eyes when you talk about your work is very contagious and and it has left all of us awestruck um uh, i would like to end by saying that it has been an immense pleasure interacting with you and thank you so much for gracing this fest with your presence